My name is Terry Davis. I'm the Executive Director of the Winton Place Youth Center. Winton Place Youth Center was established as a safe place more than 30 years ago. Back in 1983, unfortunately, we did have a fatal shooting in the neighborhood. But out of that event, something very positive happened. The members of our community came together and decided that they were going to create a safe place for the children of our neighborhood. The after school program was established after many uh, months of hard work and um, obtaining a block grant. Uh, we began with recreational programming and since that time have really expanded our program to include um, character development, academic assistance, along with some of the cultural uh, and other types of exposure that helped to round out their education. I was working with a young man who uh, was having difficulty with his homework. He began acting out. I set him out and uh, for a time out initially and then we went through several other phases. Then in talking with him further, I learned that he said that he was acting out because he hadn't had enough sleep that night. Again, going a bit deeper, I learned that he had not had enough sleep because he had had a situation that he had to deal with where he had to share his mattress with his sister. And it wasn't just a matter of sharing the mattress. His mother had taken the mattress and actually cut it in two, and he had gotten the smaller part of the mattress and he had not gotten the pillow. And those have been his sleeping accommodations for the last two or three days. So one of the things that I love about the center is that we've been here so very long. Students have come here for generations. And in fact, several uh, siblings of this particular student had been part of the youth center through the years. So we already had those inroads. And yes, we needed to polish them a bit. But then upon that, we were able to get in and at least make a financial contribution to the, um, to the situation the little boy was dealing with. Many people are familiar with the social work story of uh, babies floating down the stream, picking up the first baby and caring for it, the next day finding the next baby coming down the stream, picking up the baby and caring for it. And so the question is often asked, um, if this is going to be a repetitive cycle, then why doesn't someone have the uh, planning and the foresight to go upstream and determine where the babies are coming from? I think that story embodies um, one of the reasons that I really appreciate Community Shares, it is a network of organizations that work together to solve the problem. And we all have our part to play. With Community Shares being at the helm, then again, you have the person and the organization, the entity that is able to get the larger view, um, to provide some guidance and direction. There are other organizations that are in place to meet other needs of the babies. And perhaps Went in Place might be the equivalent of the organization that is taking the babies from the stream. But because of uh, the support that we're receiving from the network around us, we are able to do that job well. If everyone's focused on taking the babies from the stream, then the problem isn't getting solved. But by each entity doing its own part, one part uh, determining the stream of babies, one picking up babies, one clothing babies, one educating babies, one feeding babies, then we end up with healthy children.